today we will take a look at the actual clubhouse at sort of a walkthrough. Hi, I am Pixel Pia and this is my second video in the series about clubhouse. I did a first impressions video and I also had a live stream with Shelly Saves the Day and Dean Nimin where we talked about first impressions of Clubhouse and where we think this app will go. And if you are interested in any of these, I will have the links down in the description. But as I said, today we will take a look at the actual app itself. But before we look at my phone, let's make clear that I have blurred out all the names and avatars from my screenshots. But I think you will get a good idea about how Clubhouse works. So let's put my screen up here and take a look at the Clubhouse app on iOS. The first thing we have to do is to download the app from the App Store and install it on our phone. And when you open the app the first time, you get to this welcome screen. Right now, the app works on invite only. But as you see, you can reserve your username and end up on a list for future users. Or maybe someone you know have an invite they can send to you. So let's get into the app. This is what I have heard referred to as the hallway. This is where all the room shows up. Here is where I have blurred out the avatars and the names of the people in the room. But let's go into a room and take a look. As I talked about in my first impressions, there are three different kinds of users inside the room. We have the moderators, we have the speakers, and we have the listeners. And as a listener, you are always able to raise your hands if you want to be promoted to a speaker. And that is up to the moderator. If you scroll down in the hallway, you come to this explore button. That will show you rooms that you are not specific to your interest. And I will talk a little bit more about the interest in a second. Let's go up to the top and take a look at the profile. And this is my profile. This is where you do your bio. Some people have long, intricate bios. Some have very short bios. Mine is somewhere in the middle of it. And by the way, to find a person's profile, you just click on their avatar image. And then we have settings. And I will not go into all these settings. They are rather self-explanatory. The first settings has to do with notification. How often you will be notified. If you want to include trending rooms or if you want to pause the notification. Then we have interest. And as you see, I have five of them marked. I will soon talk more about. Then we have what's new, FAQ or contact us, community guidelines, terms of service and privacy policy. And I recommend that you read these documents. They all open in a web browser. Under that, you have the possibility to connect your Twitter account and your Instagram account to your profile. And of course you have the logout button. But now let's take a look at what we have under interest. And this is how it looks. And here, the things that are marked in blue are the interests that I have marked as my interest. But as you see, there are many categories here. This is where I will stop today's video because I can't take you with me into a room since their privacy says it can't be recorded in any way or form. But I hope this at least gives you a first idea about what Clubhouse is and how it works. And as I said, if you want to know more about Clubhouse, take a look at my first impressions video or listen in to the live stream I did with Shelly Saves the Day and D Nimin. Until next time.
Never stop learning. Thank you.